Hello, I'm Sam Knight, the Director of Product Management here at Blue Marble Geographics. Today we're going to be answering the question, how do I download vertical and horizontal transformation grids in Geographic Calculator? So to do this, uh, right in the calculator, we're going to go ahead and start that up. Under the Data Source menu, we'll go down to either Coordinate Transformation Definitions or Coordinate System Definitions. The most common thing for people to download are transformations, either in vertical or horizontal grids. So we'll go down under the single transformations category into the vertical subcategory. And this is where we're going to find all of our geoid definitions. Now geoids are mainly grid table based. Uh, that is, there is a data file needed to support each individual transformation. So we'll find any particular uh, grid in the list and you'll, you'll recognize them uh, by the fact that they have this uh, red text and there is a red exclamation point icon uh, displaying on the uh, far left. The, that red icon indicates that they're not presently usable because they are an incomplete definition. And the vast majority of those, it is because they actually depend on having an external grid file available. Now we have grids for almost everything in the database and the very easiest way to find whether or not we support a particular grid download is simply by right clicking on a particular object. So I'm just simply going to click here on this NGVD 29 to NAVD 88 height. And in the context menu, I'll say download missing files and up pops a little progress bar. Um, sometimes that will go very quickly and sometimes for larger files, it will take a few seconds. Uh, these range from a few megabytes um, to our largest grid file, uh, which happens to be for EGM 2008 is a one gigabyte download. Um, that's actually why we don't include these uh, out of the box with the software. Uh, but once you have uh, completed that, that progress bar, you'll see the little red icon disappears. Uh, the name of that object turns black and it is instantly available for use in the geographic calculator. Uh, or by extension, if you're using geocalc mode uh, in Global Mapper, uh, it's instantly available for use there as well. Uh, the same can happen for any grid and you can also use the control key uh, to multiple select uh, grids and do the same thing. Just say download missing files. And if you do more than one grid, you'll see a progress bar for each of those grids come and go as it completes the download. If you really want to speed this up, you can sort the entire list by clicking on the exclamation icon at the very top of that list. Then you'll see all of those unusable systems will float right to the top and you can select as many of those as you want to and download them en masse. Um, now that is if you are an end user of the calculator. Uh, if you're more of an administrative user uh, and you want to set these up or download these en masse uh, for or say a group of users who are going to be using a shared pool, you might have a simpler time going directly to our website and, and downloading these individually. So on uh, the Blue Marble Geographics homepage, we'll go over to the support menu and to our download page. Under download, you'll select geographic calculator. And on this page, you'll see all of the normal downloads for the application itself. And what we're going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom down there to a section called data and shift files. Under data and shift files, you'll see uh, the Alaskan geoid model uh, of 2006 as our first one in the list. And if you scroll down through that list, you'll see all of the available geoids uh, that we have. Um, each of those downloads uh, is a self-contained zip file that contains just that geoid uh, or horizontal transformation, whatever additional files you're, you're downloading. And when you download this, they need to be put into uh, the shift files directory of the application. So uh, back to calculator, I'm just going to show where you can see uh, what that path is. Uh, this is found under the uh, general preferences of the application. So again, under the options menu, we'll go to preferences. And in preferences, you'll see there's a section of this called file locations. Uh, now the main data source and custom data source, those are the paths of the database file itself. And then you'll see this entry called the data path. And it exists here by default on my uh, C drive down under program data and so on all the way out to this folder named shift files. That folder could be customized in your installation, um, depending on if you have modified um, this from default 
default or not. But that shift files folder is sort of like the parent directory for these. And I'm just going to bring up a file explorer uh, menu here to, to show what this looks like. Um, the base uh, program data folder uh, uh, down under Blue Marble Geographics, Geographic Calculator X64, um, uh, in there is the data source folder. If we open up the data source folder, you'll see all of the various files that make up the database itself. And in there, you'll see this uh, folder called shift files. And that's the same folder that is uh, pointing to in the preferences menu. In there, you'll see a whole bunch of different types of files, and each of these files represents a type of transformation. Uh, most of them are horizontal at this base level, and then there is a vertical subfolder. So if you're using horizontal shifts, the default for that is shift files itself. And if you're putting in geoids, you need to go down into the vertical folder. Uh, in the, the vertical folder, you may see a number of different things in there. There are the few of these that come out of the box, um, many of them, uh, most of them, in fact, are downloaded after the fact. So if you are doing that, uh, that custom download from the website, uh, all you need to do is unzip the contents of each of those folders uh, into this vertical subdirectory or the shift files directory for horizontals, uh, and then restart your calculator. It will automatically recognize all of those grids and they will be instantly available for use uh, or sharing among your users. If you have any questions about this process, um, or if you even need an alternate download um, method such as FTP, uh, please contact our tech support team at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much.